What's up guys? It's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can get experience in marine biology. Luckily, marine biology is a field that has an abundance of opportunities that are very, very accessible to anyone who is looking to get experience with marine biology. A lot of these experiences that I'm going to be telling you guys about, I have actually gained my experience from. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. The first way you can gain experience is volunteer at a local zoo or aquarium. I volunteer at the Aquarium of the Pacific down in Long Beach, California, and we also have the Cabrillo Aquarium in San Pedro. I have volunteered for the Aquarium of the Pacific for a little bit over a year now. I am an education volunteer there, which basically means I stand at exhibits on a microphone and talk about the exhibit that I am standing at. So if I'm at Shark Lagoon, I'm going to talk about sharks, and if I'm at the tide pool area, I'm going to talk about sea stars and anemones. If you're in the Southern California area, there are plenty of zoos and aquariums to gain experience from. We have the Orange County Zoo, which is pretty small, but I still believe that they take volunteers. There's a Santa Ana Zoo, there's a Long Beach Aquarium, there's Cabrillo Aquarium, and I think there's one other aquarium down in LA somewhere. Not 100% sure, I haven't looked into that one too much. But volunteering at a local zoo or aquarium can give you a lot of beneficial experience when looking into a field of marine biology. The next way to gain experience is become a naturalist or a deckhand on a whale watching boat. I am currently a deckhand for Newport Coastal Adventure. If you guys didn't know, it is a whale watching company based out of Newport Beach, California. I love being a deckhand. I'm also a photographer, so if you want to follow my photography account, it's always linked down below and it is also at the end of all of my videos. To become a naturalist, I believe you have to take a certain course. I am not familiar with the process. I can link a website down below that offers a course if you guys are interested. Working on whale watching boats is great for gaining experience, especially if you want to work with marine mammals like I do, and also just being out on the ocean every single day and seeing wildlife every single day gives you great experience. If you guys don't know what a naturalist does, a naturalist basically narrates and talks about every animal that you see out on a whale watching tour. Typically they'll have posters, little diagrams, or little skeletons that you can look at. The third way to gain experience is look into programs such as field school or broad reach. I did field school of the I did a week of field school the first week of March and I did shark research. If you guys are interested in seeing more in depth on what I did that week, you can go ahead and check out my video about my experience doing shark research. It's over on my channel. Broadreach is a corporation that offers scuba, photography, and other marine biology kind of camps slash courses. I believe these are a little bit longer. They're probably three weeks-ish. Very expensive, but also very, very beneficial if you are looking for experience in marine biology. I will go ahead and link Field School's website and Broadreach's website down below. I'm sure there are plenty of course programs like Field School and Broadreach out there. You just kind of have to do your research, type in on little Google, like marine biology courses, and they are super beneficial. They look great on resumes and you get great field work experience. The fourth way to gain experience is look into camps such as Catalina Sea Camp and SeaWorld Camp. SeaWorld Camp is more if you wanna work in a captive setting and Catalina Sea Camp takes place obviously on Catalina. You live there for a week, kayak, snorkel, you do all types of amazing things out in the marine biology field. I really wanted to be a counselor this past summer, but I did not reach the deadline in time. I really want to do it next summer, so maybe that's where my summer will be next summer, spending it on Catalina. Cal State Monterey Bay also offers a camp called Camp Sea Lab. I don't know how long it is, but I do know they run from middle of June till August, and you actually get to live on campus while you're doing it. I believe maybe they're a week long, depending. I'll link their website down below as well. But I did a little bit of research, and I wish I knew about that when I was younger. It seems so amazing, so beneficial, and I believe it goes up to 17 years old, so I'm obviously too old to partake in it. Like I said, with the course programs, there are so many camps out there. There is one called Whale Camp. I believe it is in Canada. 
and I think I haven't read too much about it but I think you basically do stuff with like well watching and well research and that just sounds like a dream but again I'm too old to go there the fifth way to get experience is volunteer at a rescue center I know here in Southern California we have two rescue centers we have one in Laguna Beach and we have one in San Pedro I have personally visited both of them and both of them are just amazing facilities. Next year when I am 21, I plan on applying to be on their rescue team. That would be great for any marine mammologist's resume and it would just be an amazing experience and it would give me experience on the other side of marine biology with the kind of search and rescue side. A great way to support rescue centers is visiting them. Most of them do not charge any fees, but you can donate either money or your time, hence volunteering, but I highly recommend checking out any rescue centers. I believe Marine Mammal Care Center down in San Pedro, California is looking for donations. They need to raise $200 more thousand dollars by June to hit their $1 million goal to stay open. So if you guys care about sea lions, please donate. I've donated one or two times and every little bit helps, so I will go ahead and link that down below as well. The rescue centers down here in California actually have way more volunteer opportunities than just being on the rescue team. You can volunteer for summer camps, you can volunteer in the gift shop, you can be a docent and just help people navigate the center, and it's just a really great experience. And the last and final way to gain experience is just be out in the ocean, snorkeling, free diving, even surfing gives you great experience on the ocean and it makes you learn how the ocean works with the tides and the full moons and how that affects that. I have swam in the ocean pretty much my entire life, free diving, surfing, just swimming in the ocean, and I definitely think it has helped me understand the ocean. When you're free diving, it's actually kind of like doing field work. You are out in the field, you're studying all of the fish that are out there, at least I do. If I'm free diving and I see fish, I go home and study them. I might be weird, but you are out there gaining experience because a lot of marine biologists do do in-water work. So like I said, just being out in the ocean and getting really familiar with it is great. Those are my six ways to get experience in marine biology. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on any of the topics I talked about today, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.